I'm Teddy Zeki. I'm the owner of Just Teddy Fine Bologerie and Patisserie. What started out very small is a home bakery and a kitchen in downtown market in Joburg is now progressed into a full-fledged bakery and patisserie. It's been a journey. I think the book has written itself over the years. Um, one of our biggest questions is when people see the store, is that how did this happen? How did you get to this point? And the book pretty much explains that as much as, pos as, much as possible. We didn't want it to be over-dramatized. We didn't want it to be too heavy. We wanted it to be light. It essentially is a cookbook, um, but we wanted that feel-good story. And in part, it's not that feel-good. We, we needed people to know what brought us to this point and, and what sacrifices were made to get to this point and what we had to actually put in to get to this point. And it hasn't been easy and plain sailing all the way. It's been hard work, a lot of hit and miss, and a lot of mistakes. Um, Beirut was always considered the Paris of the Middle East. Uh, the second language of Lebanon is French. Um, on my father's side, my paternal grandmother was from Paris. Um, a lot of Lebanese have French influence because of the intermingling, because it was a colony for so long. What we wanted to do is to try and merge the two together. There's so many French patisseries at the moment, there's so many cake shops, there's so many patisserie shops, but we needed to be a little bit different, we needed to be stand out. People are intrigued about the, the Lebanese heritage, they're intrigued about the Middle Eastern heritage, and it was a, it was for us now to fuse the two together, to bring the two together. And you've seen our patisserie counter, we pay homage to the farm patisserie, the Parisian patisserie, but we also pay homage to our roots. So we have two different counters, one the, our Lebanese heritage and one our Parisian. Mm -hmm. Something from the book that is very, that is dear to us is the Yule Log, the Christmas Yule Log, which we are, which is essentially a Lebanese Christmas cake. So a Lebanese Christmas cake, not a traditional fruit cake, it's a chocolate Yule Log. So what we've done in the book, we've given the recipe for the Yule Log um, and then we've given the option for you to decorate it however you like. I wanted the book to be geared for a home baker. I am a home baker, I still consider myself a home baker. I'm not in any way trained, I'm self-taught. So we wanted the recipes to be a little, we wanted recipes to range from easy, basic, and to very advanced um, with entreme and croquembouche. And I think that the home baker in their own kitchen, in their own space, will, will want to try something like that. Nobody's judging them, it's, it's their creation, and, and you can feel proud. I, you know, we, I, the, ba the book is not geared for a professional baker. Yes, it is professional baking, in the, it is geared for the home baker. It's geared for somebody who's come to just tell the experience that it's geared for the people that watch me on the bake off. It's geared for people that are passionate about baking. That the kitchen is their sanctuary. They, um, I bake every Sunday for most of my life, for my family and for extended family, just for the pure pleasure of baking. Uh, and I think that that who the book is geared for. Somebody that derives pleasure from baking, somebody that wants to have a feel good story, and, and just for somebody that loves the beauty of, of the, the magic of flour, sugar, and eggs putting together something as magical as cake. My name is Jeff Zaki, uh, I'm the co-owner of Just Teddy and uh, you can regard me as the head chef of it. Uh, I'm in charge of the bread and I just try my best to keep the shop running with my family. I taught myself how to bake bread and there was a lot of uh, mess ups, a lot of machines were broken uh, but in the end I, I learned how to make bread from trial and error and I think that's the best way to teach yourself something from learning from your mistakes. What I've learned from my father is how to keep a family together, how to be a good person, an honest man, and also how to just, you know, bite off more than I can chew, uh, chew and then chew like hell afterwards because my family has been through a lot. And without my father's tenacity and his strong foundation, we wouldn't be in the position that we're in. Oh, uh, you know, we appreciate cookbooks and storybooks as, as a whole and, you know, in this ever, you know, media developing world with things that are so tech based, something like a book is really honest, something, you know, something tangible that you can flip through pages and see pictures and read words and understand a story of an of a institution and a family.